to introduce Isabel Conway. For the past eight years, I've been a part of the Swincroft community, and there's nowhere else I want to spend those eight years. This community has shaped me into the person I am today, and it really is my second home. I cannot imagine walking in those doors every September and not seeing all the familiar faces. I'm really going to miss it here so much. I'd like to thank my classmates and my teachers for making this school my second home. Sadly, my time here has come to a whole thing stop. And as I reflect, I'm filled with so many mixed feelings. I'm leaving my classmates that I've known my entire life. And but we are all going on to do such wonderful things. All of these classmates are my closest friends, my sisters. Janelle, Mina, and Kelly, I'm going to miss you all so much next year. I will never forget all the memories that are too much to share. I love you guys so much. And I'm so proud of all the wonderful things you are going to do. The only reason I, myself, am going on to do wonderful things is because of my family. Family is the most important thing in my life and is the glue that holds every person together. Families live together, eat together, laugh together, but most importantly are always there for each other. Without my family, I would never be the person I am today. And I'd like to thank some of my family members. To start, I'd like to thank my sister, Autumn. You have always been there for me to talk to, laugh with, fight over clothes with, and remind me to have fun. You've been the best big sister, and I hope I wasn't too annoying the past 14 years. <laughs> I love you so much. Now, I'd like to thank my grandmother, Bum Bum. Thank you so much for everything you have done, ranging from fun to serious. You have always been there for me, and I cannot imagine my life without you. I will miss having you come up to Grandparents Day, seeing you on Sundays whenever we want, and having you come up to play cards. Although when I go to Blair in September, I won't see you as often, you will always be in my heart. I love you to the moon and back. Next, I'd like to thank my mom. Thank you for always encouraging me to do my best and take a break to read. I will always remember the help with all the school projects and summer reading books. I won't see you as much next year, but I will miss you very much. I love you. Now I would like to thank Donna. You've done everything for me since I was since I could remember, and I could not have made it through these eight years without you. And endless pickups, last-minute store runs, early morning uniform washings, and of course proofreading of reports. You didn't have a chance to read this one, but I hope it's okay. You've taught me how to be a good young woman, and I could never imagine my life without you. Fate brought us together, and I was meant to be your daughter. I love you more than you know. Now the best for last, my dad. <laughs> I made it. You've done everything for me, and you're the reason I'm here today. From my singing sessions in the car every morning to when you hold me when I cry, you have built the first time today, and I can't express in words how much you mean to me. You are my world. I'm going to miss you so much next year. You have no idea. I love you forever and always. All these people made me who I am today, and I do not want to leave this community. I like to end my speech by, with a quote by Billy Joel. Life is a series of hellos and goodbyes, and I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye again. I would like to introduce Kelly Nancy. Yeah.